if you want to buy anything in nigeria you know you cannot online especially if it is in dollars a lot of my students online are having this issue and we have to solve it one way or the other so today i'm going to tell you the three ways i buy things online from nigeria from my office here with ease now the reason why nigerians cannot buy anything online is simply because the cbn disallowed of it you know in nigeria we have the black market and then we have the normal regular bank rate so as of today a dollar in the black market is about 765 naira meanwhile in the bank is about 460 so you see the difference of almost 300 and something naira to one dollar hence if you are buying online cbn feels you are just there to make money of them so they stopped it all together that was the time they reduced it to limits whereby you can spend a 20 dollar every month but now it is nothing but then as nigerians especially those of us that work online we need to buy things either you are buying on amazon you are paying for your softwares or you're even paying for your domain name and website hosting and all of that it has to be done in dollars so how do i do this my number one is it's called virtual cards now there are different types of virtual cards and what virtual card means is you don't really need to have a physical account number but they will give you a card online they'll give you an account online which majorly can be in dollars or euros or pounds and then you cannot use that to buy anything online let me show you some of these platforms so that you as well can utilize any of them to buy things online the first one is gray.co on gray.co you see foreign accounts for africans they all have usb great britain hero accounts and you can use their virtual card to actually buy online and it's easy to do just register in minutes you complete the verification which means you need to add your id card and you know a few things like that and then you get a virtual account which add a debit card that you can use to buy anything in the world the next one is isocard.com now isocard.com here as well visa and mastercard prepaid credit card online shop you can also use this as well the new isocard service is only available on isocard.com so don't go to another thing like isocard look at the spelling here or iso cards or all of these funny funny things it's real iso card.com and it's very easy to use as well you can get the green card you can get the brown card you can get the gray card orange card depending on how much you want to transact with and all and this will allow you to buy things online for even from nigeria without any azu but we have gpay as well which is for africa gpay.africa that as well allows you to use that debit card for easy spending but i can tell you that these scenarios all of these websites they are not 100 percent guaranteed i'm not saying they will steal your money but i'm saying there are some websites who will not allow you to use these virtual cards so the fact that you have great cards gpay.africa doesn't mean you, you can buy things from every website available the next set of three websites i'm going to show to you which i use they would allow you to buy things 100 percent no limit week in day in day out year in year out the first one is the uba prepaid card now i'm going to show to you how to go about this very quickly so you can also get yours it's very easy to open all you have to do is go into a uba bank you don't need to have an account with them if you like you can open a savings or current account but you don't really need that for a prepaid card you tell them you want to open a prepaid card they're going to give you the forms you fill but before you go please go along with your identification what are these identification you don't need passport you only need your driver's license or international passport or voter's card or national id card one of those will work even if it's a temporary it will work then you also need the proof of your residence which is your address so mostly nepa bill is okay and then you can have that but then as soon as you do this and you fill it up before the account can be activated you need to do a deposit of ten dollars $10. This $10 this $10 is not just $10 in transfer it's physical dollar that's what you take there physical $10 that's what you deposit on the counter at the bank and then you now have an account you will be given the ATM card which is what you will now use to make transactions online but then every time you have to make the transaction there are a few things that you have to note it will need you to deposit the dollar equivalent into your bank so if you want to buy something of hundred dollars you have to go to your dumb account withdraw hundred dollars and come back to the juba bank and drop the money there that's when you can use it online but this has no limits if you like use two thousand dollars per day that's on you you can buy anything with these and then to check the account balance a bit difficult because you now have to go to the bank and then they print your account balance for you it's free they can just print it back for you at your customer care in case you don't know how much you've spent or how much is remaining in your bank but you also have a lot on your phone because they would send a lot of how much you had spent 
to your phone so you don't have problems with your account balance that is the massive one i use especially for me that i have hundreds of people in the classroom that i buy domain names for i buy website hosting and all of that i spend a lot of dollars online incredible you as well can use these but then there is a third one as well that looks easier just like this is the, the gtb dollar card now to do this you need to have the dollar account and to open a GTP dollar account is also easy. The only thing is you need to put two references that either have dollar account or have current account. So they have to be signatories to you to reference you. You know, just like opening normal banking details and banking accounts. That's the way that work operates. And at every point before you use it as well, you need to have dollars in that account as well. Now, the way you're going to make dollars into all of these accounts, I'm telling you, I'll show you before I finish today. But the first thing is to actually get that account and the dollar card so you can use. It will take you about two weeks after you go to the bank and tell them you want to register. They're going to give you a form to fill. If you fill that form, of course, they would print for you. And then depending on your location, sometimes I will advise you take the number of the person in the counter because they will tell you two weeks and they will say they have not printed and all. So you won't be going back and forth. You just call to confirm. I think it's better that way. Take the number of the person on the counter. That will help you out instead of going back and forth. But if you have your dollar card, you can use it to buy anything online without limitation. GTB dollar card. Now, the reason why I'm saying this personified is because these are the ones I use. I don't know if Access Bank does it or Zenith Bank or Fidelity Bank. You know, I don't know all other banks. I strictly use UBA and GTB and these are the two that I use. But then there is another form that I also use to buy things online. It's via PayPal. You can open PayPal in Nigeria, but I have my PayPal that I use. I actually have two. I have the one I opened outside the country. Then I have the one I opened using a strategy here in Nigeria. Now, the first strategy I did, I taught on this channel. If you go to African Giants, you see the strategy. But after some time, a lot of people were opening it. That PayPal now started, you know, clamping down on that type of opening. But I have another style that I have not taught on the channel. And the reason I'm saying this here is uh, because every time we have these hidden strategies and we teach it on YouTube, all other YouTubers will come and copy it and then everybody's doing the same thing and then they are going to clamp down on it. It happened when we opened ClickBank, happened when we opened Digistore, happened on PayPal. Anything I open now from a back channel, I don't really teach it loudly. And I'm sure you can pardon me for that because I don't want this new way to also be banned. But if you need it on a personal note without me putting it on the platform, without me putting it on YouTube, I can give it to you. All you have to do is just go to the comment section and say, African Giant, teach me the PayPal opening method for 2023. Then I will consider giving you if a lot of people request for that. But PayPal is one of the best way to buy anything online there's no limit there's no limitation provided you can make money into that paper because you have to have a balance on paper dollar balance before you can use it to buy but that's not all my number four will be pioneer you know pioneer pioneer too has their own virtual card that is so unique and very very efficient virtually all websites in the world accept pioneer card and you as well can put it for that the only little limitation here is if i sign in now you're going to see that not every account can actually register and request for a Pioneer card. Let's just check this out. I'm opening an account that will not be able to have it. Okay, you see banks and card. If I click on banks and card, you can see Pioneer card. When I click on that, look at the limitation that most people are going to have with the strategy. It says you'll be able to order a Pioneer card once you've received a payment of at least $2,000 or equivalent in the previous six months. So if your Pioneer account has not made up $2,000 in the past six months, then you can request for a card. That means you won't be able to use a Pioneer card. Actually, this is only functional for once when you have already requested a card. That's it. Maybe until expiry, then they will request for this again. But I'm just putting it here in case you now meet the metric so you will know that you also have the opportunity to use this to pay money online and buy things online. But then I promised to you that I was going to show you how you can make money to your GT Bank account and how you can make money to your UBA prepaid card account and also into your PayPal account if you have one and also into this Pioneer account so you can get to $2,000. The first thing you have to do is you have to click the video that is popping out now so you can get started on how to make money online into all of these your accounts. Click on it and let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.